football is so often looked at as simply a sport. But in a year unlike any other, filled with agony and heartbreak, it's become painfully evident that the men donning the black and gold are not just providing entertainment, but a reason to believe that the world we once knew is on its way back. In the meantime, however, join us for an inside look at Southern Miss football. This is Eleven Brothers. As the team closes training camp and prepares for its opening week matchup against South Alabama, a bit of good news arrives for a trio of seniors. Quarterback Jack Abraham, receiver Tim Jones, and defensive back Kyle Hemby have been named to the preseason All-Conference USA team. It's an honor not lost on them as they enter the twilight of their college careers. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous honor, you know, I try not to get my head wrapped around those things, but like, it's always just a good sense of motivation, you know, push me even harder, you know, just to know I'm recognized and uh, just as being a senior and receiving that accolade as a senior captain is just, it's just pushing me to uh, make everybody in my team better. I mean, it's a huge honor. Um, I've worked for this, I'd say, since my freshman year, you know, um, getting playing time towards the end of the season, um, my freshman year, and seeing you know everybody, all the great receivers before me, uh, get that opportunity, and I had to fill those big shoes and get uh, achieve that opportunity as well. So it's a big honor. Perhaps the biggest challenge for these veterans as they embark on their final season of college football is learning how to lead the next generation of Golden Eagles on and off the field through such a difficult time in the country's history. Uh, it. Lately, it hasn't been really difficult because a lot of us, we, we use being like football as our escape from a lot of things that's going on. So like, I mean, yeah, it's always in the back of your mind that it's a pandemic, but like when I'm here with my brothers and stuff, it's like my mind kind of goes away from it. But at the same time, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. But it's, it's pretty much been kind of the same for me. But as far as my approach, normally I usually lead by example. But in a time like this, I, I decided to be more vocal, you know, and push a lot of guys with my voice. So. It's helped me develop a, a, talent, a skill that I haven't really been big on, which is my vocal. But like, as far as leading, it's, it's helped me open up a lot with things that are going on right now. Uh, the biggest thing I say is you just can't go out here and take every snap for granted. I mean, it could stop whenever they want it to stop, really. Um, and another thing, senior year, I mean, I gotta, gotta go out with a bang, obviously. I mean, it could be my last time playing football, I don't know that, but. Obviously, I'm striving to play on the next level. Stringer, special team today. Love and brothers. Hard to beat. Hey, I'll bet you quick. Before taking the field, there's one final ritual to be performed. We're a team by God, we're a team. We're a team by God, we're a team by God, we're a team by God, we're a team. We're gonna fight by God, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight by God, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight by God, we're gonna fight by God, we're gonna fight by God. What are we gonna do? We're gonna win by God, we're gonna win. In 2020. With Southern Miss on the verge of seizing the momentum early, the tides quickly turn on third and long. Trotter steps up and delivers to the outside. Tolbert has it. Tolbert goes rolling. 
First down, how about touchdown? Redemption in the form of an interception on the very next Jaguars drive is short-lived though, as South Alabama breaks free again in the closing minutes of the first quarter. Trotter into the heavy pressure on second down. Heaves it long, hold it inside the five. Baker in motion. Oh, handoff, and it is Avery. And Avery is in. Touchdown, Jags. But it's interception number two on the evening that finally sparks light for the home team. Here comes the pressure. Abraham steps up, delivers downfield. It is caught, and it is first and goal. Golden Eagles, Abraham goes up top to Tim Jones. The has some mobility. Abraham's going to hand off to Ragsdale, spinning, pushing. Ragsdale is a touchdown, Southern Miss. And just as it looks, everything is back on track for the Golden Eagles. Disaster strikes in the form of a questionable call. Eight straight completions from Abraham. And now Gore pushing. Takes three and he shovels it. Abraham, touchdown. Gore to Abraham. Golden Eagle, touchdown. Just told us. The runner's four in progress was stopped before the back was passed. Third down. So bring it back. That would be a killer. It's good, three on the board. But rather than a touchdown on the flip from Gore to Abraham. Unfortunately, the second half begins just as the first half did, with South Alabama making the most of their first turn with the ball. Touchdown, Jags! It's Trotter to Tolbert again. After a competitive remainder to the third quarter in which the two clubs traded field goals, the Jaguars extend their lead early in the fourth. Lovertich, quick hitter, caught, first down. Baker slips free, inside the 35. Baker will take it. Touchdown, Jags. Those who've watched Jack Abraham, however, know he isn't done until the final whistle blows. Golden Eagles is really what we expected Southern Miss. That response and come out firing has been the case yet. Jones holds it in from Abraham. 29-13 to the fourth. Brownlee, screen, markers ahead. Free Brownlee takes it just inside the 20. It's another red zone trip for Southern Miss. Field will get off the field here. Abraham pulls it this time. Takes it inside the five. Big hop as he gets to the two. So it's Ragsdale. It all comes down to a South Alabama field goal attempt. May have been tipped, but it is good anyway. There is three more on the board. It would be naive to expect to endure a season of football without difficult losses. But it's only fitting that following many months of adversity, the Golden Eagles and their fans are forced to face a little more. And though football may look a little different in its return, this band of brothers will overcome said adversity the same way they always have, together. Next week on Eleven Brothers. Good Arvin! Yeah, Arvin! That's a great rep, Arvin! That's a great rep! Good! Hot! 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 Let's go!